Welcome to Qt eLearning channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the hydrogen embrittlement. Description of damage. Hydrogen embrittlement, HE, is the loss in strength, ductility, and or fracture toughness of susceptible materials due to the penetration and diffusion of atomic hydrogen. HE can lead to brittle cracking. It can occur during manufacturing, welding, or from services that charge hydrogen into the metal. As illustrated in figure, Hydrogen embrittlement showing signs of intergranular cleavage. Affected materials. Low alloy steels, high strength steels. 400 series, precipitation hardenable stainless steel, duplex stainless steel, and some high-strength nickel-based alloys. Carbon steel can suffer hydrogen embrittlement if hardened by cold work or welding. Typically, a steel has to have hardness greater than Rockwell Hardness Number, HRC, 22. To be susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement cracking in the most severe environments. Higher strength hardness can be tolerated in milder environments. Please note that the purposes of this lecture, blistering and hydrogen induced cracks are not considered examples of hydrogen embrittlement. Critical factors. In reference to figure, the hydrogen embrittlement only occurs when a critical combination of the five conditions satisfied. First, the material must be susceptible. Second, hydrogen must be present at a critical concentration within the material. Third, the strength hardness level must be high enough and the microstructure must be susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement. Fourth, a stress above the threshold for hydrogen embrittlement must be present from residual stresses and or applied stresses. Fifth, the temperature must be in the embrittling and cracking range. Please note that hydrogen embrittlement generally diminishes with increasing or decreasing temperature away from ambient. In reference to figure, the hydrogen sources welding. If wet electrodes or electrodes with a high moisture content flux are used. Hydrogen can be charged into the material. Corrosion reactions. Most aqueous corrosion reactions produce hydrogen. Service in high temperature greater than 400 degree F hydrogen gas atmospheres. Molecular hydrogen dissociates to form atomic hydrogen that can diffuse into the metal cleaning and pickling in acid solutions manufacturing melting practices or manufacturing processes particularly where susceptible components are plated for example high strength bolts plated with cadmium can lead to hydrogen embrittlement cracking. 
This is sometimes called hydrogen flaking. Cathodic protection. Hydrogen is formed on the surface of the protected metal, which can lead to heat cracking if the metal is susceptible. The effect is generally most pronounced at ambient temperatures. Decreases rapidly above 150 degrees Fahrenheit and effectively disappears above about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Hydrogen embrittlement is reversible as long as cracking has not occurred. The hydrogen can be baked out at elevated temperature. 400 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, typically around 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Hydrogen embrittlement affects static properties to a much greater extent than impact properties. If the hydrogen is present and a sufficient stress is applied, failure can occur quickly. Stress to cause cracking can result from cooling during manufacture or from post-weld heat treatment temperatures. Residual stresses from welding or applied load. Affected units or equipment Chromium molybdenum, reactors, drums, exchanger shells, and piping in hydroprocessing units, and catalytic reforming units can be susceptible to cracking. If the weld has hardness exceeds Brunel hardness number, HB, 225. Storage spheres are often made of higher strength steels. More than 70 KSI specified minimum tensile strength than common pressure vessel steels and are therefore more susceptible than most other refinery equipment. If not stress relieved, bolts and springs made of high strength steel above 150 KSI, are very prone to heat cracking. Carbon steels normally used for vessels, piping, and other equipment in most refining applications HAB, e low strength slash hardness and are usually not susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement. Appearance or morphology of damage Hydrogen embrittlement by itself is not visible. It only appears when cracking occurs. Cracking resulting from hydrogen embrittlement can initiate subsurface, but in most cases is surface breaking. Under metallographic examination, Cracking is typically branched. In higher strength steels, cracking is often intergranular. As illustrated in figures, cracking due to hydrogen embrittlement of a high strength steel tube and intergranular crack emanating from surface in the tube. Prevention, Mitigation Weld Procedure Qualification Chemistry Controls and Post-Weld Heat Treatment are the methods used to Avoid high hardness heat affected zones Welding controls are employed to Minimize the potential for hard welds and Heat affected zones in carbon steel and low alloy steels ASTM A193 grade B7M bolts are softer and lower strength than B7 bolts and are 
considered resistant to cracking, alloy cladding or non-metallic coatings that provide an effective barrier and protect the surface of the steel from corrosion and hydrogen permeation will prevent cracking. Inspection and Monitoring Liquid penetrant testing, magnetic particle testing, or wet fluorescent magnetic particle testing can be used for surface cracking inspection. Angle beam, shear wave ultrasonic testing or phased array ultrasonic testing may also be useful in finding as well as sizing hydrogen embrittlement cracks. Radiographic testing often is not sufficiently sensitive to detect hydrogen embrittlement cracks. Visual testing is not reliable for finding hydrogen embrittlement cracks. If the source of hydrogen is a low temperature aqueous environment, hydrogen flux can be monitored using specialized instruments. Related mechanisms Also known as underbead cracking, delayed cracking, hydrogen-assisted cracking, and hydrogen flaking, stress corrosion cracking, and hydrogen stress cracking in hydrofluoric acid are closely related forms of hydrogen embrittlement. Summary Description A loss in strength, ductility, and or fracture toughness of susceptible materials due to the penetration of atomic hydrogen can lead to brittle cracking. Cracking is often intergranular. Cracking due to hydrogen embrittlement can initiate subsurface but in most cases is surface breaking. Cracking due to hydrogen embrittlement can initiate subsurface, but in most cases is surface breaking. Temperature range. The effect is pronounced at temperatures from ambient to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Affected metallurgy carbon steel and low alloy steels, high strength steels, 400 series precipitation hardenable stainless steel, duplex stainless steel, and some high strength nickel based alloys. Prevention Use lower strength steels and post weld heat treatment. During welding, use low hydrogen, dry electrodes, and preheating methods. Alloy cladding or non-metallic coatings. Inspection methods. PT, MT, or WFMT. Angle beam UT, SWUT or PAUT. Practice time. Question number one. For hydrogen embrittlement susceptibility is most depend on. Answer is A. Question number two. Following which fact may lead to hydrogen embrittlement? Answer is B. Question number three. 
HE is pronounced at temperatures. Answer is A. Question number 4. HE cracks cannot be detected by Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.